you know what? I'm not just a wet shaver. I'm not just a clean shaver. Shave it up! Everybody, clean shaver here, and uh, I have a. It's Friday already. <laughs> already, wow. These weeks seem to fly by. Holy cow! So I have another video for you this week, and it is going to be one of the just talk and shave varieties. But I have a special topic I want to talk about. So uh, let's get into it. So this week uh, for my shave, I'm going to be using Katie's Bubbles Noel Orange. Soap. This was our special fundraiser soap for the Utah Product Release Syndrome Association fundraiser. I will be using the Hone Type 15A. So this is the aluminum version of the Hone. You see it there? Hone. All right. And then a brush that I will reveal momentarily. A little backstory here. So. Like I was saying, I'm not just a uh, wet shaver, and neither are you. We all have backstories, and we all have things that we are different about us more than just being a traditional shaver. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that today. Now, I actually work in SEO, if you know what that is, search engine optimization. Uh, really, my, my job has more to do with digital marketing than anything else. Uh, SEO is an element of that, uh, as well as uh, pay-per-click and social media and all that kind of stuff. So uh, a little while ago, a one of our artisans, one of our vendors, was or had made a post on Facebook asking if anybody had SEO experience and would be willing to help him out. That guy happened to be Matthew Martin, who otherwise might be known as Brush Guy. And so uh, Chris Cullen <laughs> from Katie's Bubbles volunteered me and, say, and he basically said, talk to Scott. So, all right, <laughs> I'm happy to help out in any way I can. So I, uh, so Matthew messaged me and said, hey, this is what I'm doing. Can you help me out? And uh, so we did over the process, or over the uh time of a few days. Uh, we, I reviewed what he was looking at and told him what I thought and what I would probably do, what the next steps would be. And uh, and so he took that and he's going to run with it. And uh, I did not expect any payment in what whatsoever. But uh, after the fact, I learned that he wanted to send me a brush. And so uh, he did. And it's this. So this is a kind of an orish, orangey brown can't see the colors really well. I don't know how well the uh, colors will show up in the camera there, but uh, brush guy. And it's a beautiful brush, very soft. I, I was really surprised by this knot, actually. It's a beautiful knot. And uh, excited to have this. He also sent a soap along that I just don't feel like using tonight. So I asked for this orange brush because the color for the Prada Willy, or the color for Prada Willy syndrome is orange. So, orange brush, orange soap. Yay! Right? Okay. Anyway, so what I do, I am actually, my, my, by profession, I am a business coach. Uh, I work for, I, I won't necessarily say the, uh, yeah, I won't necessarily say the name of the company, but uh, I work for the world's largest uh, independently owned and operated carpet cleaning franchise that, uh, and I work as a business coach, particularly for the uh, franchise owners that are on the eastern half of the U.S. And my specialty is digital marketing. So, while I'm by no means an expert, I do have some knowledge there when it comes to SEO, search engine optimization, or Really what that is, is the practice of making your website attractive to Google. And so I 
was able to help Matt there. I'll work with a lot of franchise owners on making their own websites more appealing to Google to show up and search more often and for the right search words, search terms, keywords, that kind of stuff. Um, really what I do is I coach them on how to make the most of those uh, marketing venues to build their business and find more customers online. So that's what I do. I also am a uh, certified Google AdWords specialist. So those, uh, there's a feather blade in this, by the way, second use on the feather blade. Um, so AdWords is the program that runs those sometimes annoying ads that you see on a Google search results page. You know, usually the first two or three things that you see on the results page, those are ads. That's what they say, ad, next to them. And that's run by a program called Google AdWords. So I'm a certified specialist with AdWords and I help franchise owners understand how to either run it themselves or work with somebody who's running it for them. That's my job. And so I work with them and I'm good at my job. Uh, I'll admit that. <laughs> I really enjoy it and I'm good at it. In fact, I've had several people ask me, why don't you start your own business doing this for people? And I've thought about it, but being an entrepreneur is a little bit risky. You know, why am I going against the grain already? That was kind of silly. I don't know. See what happens here? I start talking and I lose my train of thought. All right. I also work with them on um, social media. One of my real specialties though is email. So I actually have a, a master's degree in business administration. And right out of my, right out of grad school, I started working for a company helping to um, execute their email marketing and it wasn't a small company so we were emailing to hundreds of thousands of people at a time um, and so I worked primarily as a copywriter and analyst So that was a lot of fun ish. Uh, then, um, yeah, I really enjoy working in email. It's pretty fun. Well, that, oh shoot. That's what happens when you go against the grain right off right the bat or when you use a feather blade. So, Anyway, uh, yeah, I also help people with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, although in my line of work, the people that I work with generally don't have a lot of use for Twitter um, or Instagram. Facebook is pretty big, but um, yeah, those are my two, my, my primary focus with them is SEO, pay-per-click, and, and Facebook, and email, I guess. Anyway, so what I really wanted to talk about is that I'm more than that, uh, more than just a shaver. I, I, that's my uh, field of work and I really enjoy it and I'm good at it. Beyond that, I also have a family. I make it a point to not share too much about my family on YouTube at least because I have little kids and the internet's kind of a scary place. But you all know that I have a son named Noah, obviously. 
and he's awfully cute and wonderful. We're very blessed to have him in our family. Now, aside from that, other things that I love. My wife. My wife, my wife is awesome. Her name's Jenny. And she is a wonderful mother. Absolutely wonderful mom. Um, she'll never admit it and she'll never accept that from anybody because she, she, she thinks she's not. But she is a wonderful mom. And we actually, fun thing about us, both of us are musicians. So I played the trombone, uh, at least I did in high school, or junior high, high school and college. I also play the piano, guitar, I sing-ish. Uh, my wife is a very talented violinist. Again, she'll never admit it and she'll never accept that from anybody, but she is very good. We actually met in the symphony orchestra in college. Um, funny story. We had the whole symphony orchestra, two bus full, or two buses, big tour bus, like the big coach buses full of college kids, went to a music educators conference. I had just broken up with my girlfriend, who by the way is now married to my roommate. Um, <laughs> so that worked out. Anyway, uh, and on the road there, I'd been riding on the winds bus because I was a trombone player. And by the trip back, I was getting a little tired of them because we have strange senses of humor as wind players. And so I decided to switch buses and go to the strings bus or the unofficial strings bus. Um, I think I was one of like 10 guys on the bus. Good odds for me. Anyway, um, she was there with her two friends. Her two friends were sitting in the row ahead of her. There were, you know, they were rows of two seats each. She was sitting with this empty seat next to her near the back of the bus. Our eyes connected and I decided to go sit by her and the rest is history. We talked the rest of the ride home and I asked her out the next week. Funny story though, we went out once. When I asked her out, she'd forgotten my name. She was really sly about it though and she uh, she gave me her number and I texted her and she's like, oh, who is this? On the, via text and I was like, this is Scott. Oh, okay. And she totally got my name that way. She told me that after the fact, but anyway. I also ran into her, one of her best friends shortly after our first date. And uh, her friend, uh, I ran into her at the video store with her, her she was with her boyfriend and uh, I was with my roommate. We ran into her there and she's like, oh, where's Jenny? I don't know. We're not doing anything tonight. We weren't exclusive yet. And uh, I was like, I don't, I don't know. She's like, but she said she was going out with Scott. And her boyfriend was like, Ooh. yeah, uh, she was dating another guy named Scott <laughs> at the time. Uh, it didn't last very long though. I got her. So that's all that matters. Anyway. So we're both very, uh, very musical. Um, I actually, other things that I really like, I love cars. Uh, I don't get the chance to talk about it a lot uh, because it's not in my line of work and, and uh, it's not something I get to do a lot because I generally don't have time. But uh, I grew up working on cars with my dad because we were cheap and we had old cars that were easy-ish to fix. And so I remember doing a lot of that. My favorite cars, like Top Gear, the BBC Top Gear, at least what used to be Top Gear, not the new stuff with uh, Matt LeBlanc and what's his face, but uh, the, the old Top Gear with Jeremy Clarkson, James May, Richard Hammond. Yeah, that's like my favorite TV show. <laughs> I love that show. Anyway, my favorite car of all time, if I had my dream car, would be a 1968 Shelby Mustang GT500 KR. It's my favorite car. I've been a Mustang freak since I was like 10, and I absolutely love them. Um, easily my favorite classic car. Uh, I also really enjoy running. Um, I've done several races. I've done a marathon. 
and uh, done off-road races. I love trail running. Um, and that's a lot of fun for me. It's a good diversion, actually, um, and a good way to get some exercise. So I've, I, I didn't always like it, but it was an inexpensive way to get some exercise. All you needed was a decent pair of shoes, and so I started doing it. And I totally just caught that mole right there. Oh, that's going to bleed like crazy. Crap. Shoot. Okay, well, let's be careful about that here, shall we? Oh, see the blood streaks. I'm gonna have to tell YouTube that there's blood in this video. Oh, yikes, it's bad. Anyway, so I enjoy running. Um, some of you might know that I actually I speak Chinese. Um, I lived in Hong Kong for a couple of years and learned Cantonese while I was there. Then. When I, after I came home, I uh, learned Mandarin as my minor in my undergrad. And uh, so I speak, I'll admit my Cantonese is better than my Mandarin. <laughs> um, but uh, I love China. I've been there. I got to go back to China a couple years ago, a few years ago, and loved it. Other things I really like, oh, Chinese food. <laughs> Everything except for stinky tofu, that stuff is disgusting. Don't ever try to taste like dog, well, what I would imagine dog poop tastes like. Okay, just don't, don't. Taste like feet smell, okay? Anyway, um, other things I really like. I also really love hiking. I love spending time in the mountains, hiking, fishing, camping, whenever I can, I get away up in the mountains. And real mountains, like the ones near where I live. Anyway, so I would like to know down in the comments what you do. What's different about you? What's special about you? Um, more than just being awesome because you're a wet shaver. What's different? What's special about you? Um, no giveaway this week because of that, but I would just like to know what you do. Don't give any specifics down in the comments because that's it's the internet. You don't want to give too much information out, even though Google probably already knows it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd love to know. I, I like learning more about my viewers and, and knowing what they do. Uh, who they are, what kind of stuff they like. If there's anything in common that you found with me, go ahead and put it in the comments. Put the common stuff in the comments. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Just rinse this out really quick. And then try to stop the bleeding here on my ear. That's that mole. Mm. I've gotten it way too many times. More than I care to admit. Got a few little spots that I missed here. All right, in case you're wondering, the Home 15A is a completely different animal than the than the Type 15 that's brass. I mean, this is super light compared to the brass. It's it's amazing, huge difference. Gosh, man, that thing is just, as my buddy Dave in high school would have said, it's just gone nuts So, All right. Okay. Oh, another fun thing about me. I was in marching band in high school. I played the tuba in marching band. And I was cool enough to go to the Rose Parade when I was a senior in high school. Pretty fun, right? Tubas rule. Anyway, or sousaphones, I guess. Yeah. So, that is my shave today. Noah LaRange from Katie's Bubbles. The, now, called the Noah Brush from Brush Guy. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Um, I'm excited to have this, and it's a great brush. I'm really, I really like it, actually. Um, great knot in there, awesome softness and backbone. Really, really liked it, so thank you. All right, now to finish things up, uh, where's my... I can't seem to find my alum block anymore. I don't know where it is. Hmm. It's got a little... Uh, 
toilet paper action there. All right. Okay. That looks so great, right? Let's put some aftershave balm on that after we're done. So, Soap Commander Integrity Aftershave Balm. Although I probably really don't need it, except for right there. Because the hone shaves very, very smoothly. I love that thing. Um, which, side note, Andrew, thank you. That was completely unexpected and uh, really cool of you to do. I really appreciate it. That means a lot. Um, then, for my aftershave tonight, we have Royal Spice. So, normally I wouldn't think of pairing these two, but I, I love the orange side of this. And then the spice, I find actually goes really well with citrusy kind of stuff. So, Royal Spice it is. Here we go. If you haven't ever smelled this stuff, you need to get to somewhere that carries these types of fragrances. Like if you're in the New York area, go to um, uh, Bigelow's. Uh, the, there, that pharmacy there uh, uh, down in, oh gosh, uh, Greenwich, Greenwich Village. Um, I got to go there with Chris Tolan actually. Uh, earlier this year, and uh, they have the Royal Spice, Royal Line, Royal Mandarin, that that line. Great stuff. I uh, really enjoyed it. And, yeah. Oh! I'm supposed to do the giveaway for the Bakelite Open Comb, huh? Oops. Just a second. Thank you, everybody, for your comments on my last video, the the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Bakelite Open Comb Slant Razor review. And congratulations to... Boom! Jarrell Flores, thanks for your comment. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it, reading everybody's comments, actually. It was a lot of fun. Um, but uh, I just had my computer pick one randomly, and Jarrell won. So congratulations, Jarrell. If you'd like to get me your address, either through my Facebook page, or you can message me directly here on YouTube. Either way, uh, go ahead and give me your address, and I'll get that razor to you. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for my video tonight. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Matthew Martin, for the brush. Thank you, Andrew from home for sending me the 15A. Wonderful, wonderful razor. I recommend that you pick it up. It is a bit cheaper than the Type 15 in the brass. So great shaver, just not anywhere near as heavy. So something to check out. Uh, Chris Collin, Katie's Bubbles with Noah LaRange, and then the Royal Spice and Soap Commander to finish things up. So thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Find me on all my social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Voice Byte, Snapchat, Kick, all that. It's all down in the description below. And you'll also find links to all the products down in the description below as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Be smooth and shave it up. We'll see you next time.